This is Joel Margolis with Adapter Chicago Productions at the kickoff of the 2016 Chicago Disability Pride Parade. The parade is starting just this very minute, moving north, first with a car from Perillo Auto Dealers. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Coming up next with a loud boombox, an SUV pulling a float. And here we have a float from Hyatt, the Hyatt Hotels, participating in the Disability Pride Parade. Following a pickup truck. Hello. What group are you with? Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Blue Cross Blue Shield? Yep. Participating with the gay, the Disability Pride Parade. Glad to see you. Welcome Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Hi, thank you. And you are representing? Um, UIC. University of Illinois at Chicago. Coming close behind them, a smaller group. Off to my right, some cyclists slowly making its way forward. A small van is pulling a large float. Approaching us now. And in white and blue, we have a large float indeed. Access Living of Chicago, marching in this year's Disability Pride Parade. Are you with Access Living? I am not. Where do we want it? Careful of the tapes behind you. A large group indeed, more than 50, 60 or 70 people with Access Living. Coming behind them, yet another group. And here we have EIU Healthcare. Hello. Are you with EIU? SEIU. 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 And they are making their presence very much known. And what group are you with? A smaller group now making its way forward. Mixture of children and adults. Coming behind them, 
Another cluster of people. Who's this, Will? And here we have the Family Resource Center on Disabilities. Hello, Family Resource Center. Get out and vote. And we have just been urged to get out and vote. From the Progress Center. Several people with canes to aid the blind. So we have a number of visually handicapped people marching proudly forward, along with people in wheelchairs. The whole range of the disability population is here today. All of them out, all of them marching, regardless of disability, some on foot, some in chairs, some with aid, some walking independently, but all of them marching proudly in this year's Disability Pride Parade. And here we have the Student Occupational Therapy Association. Hello. What's your name? Ernie. Ernie, and are you part of the Student Occupational Therapy? Thank you for being here. University. MOPD. Coming up with a very large green and white banter, we now have Northern Trust, one of Illinois' largest banks. Are you all from Northern Trust? Yes. Happy to be here. And they say they're glad to be here. And approaching us now is the Annexter Center, one of Chicago's better known Social welfare organizations founded by the Annixter family. Some of you may know the name from their ownership of the Englewood Electric Company, the proceeds of which helped to finance the Annixter Center, engaged in a variety of social welfare missions. And now approaching us is a very powerful looking vehicle. Pulling yet another float. And you are with? Annexter Center. And they are also from the Annexter Center. Is this the Annexter Center? Yay! Hello, and you Yay! are with? Disability Pride. And we've just heard it from the horse's mouth. Disability Pride? Yeah. Thank you. Candy. I can't eat it because I'm a diabetic, but thank you. I've just been offered candy from someone in the parade. So this is a sweet group indeed. And now we have Equip for Equality. Is Charlie Weiss on here? Is Charlie Weiss on here today? From Equip for Equality? Yeah. Is Charlie Weiss on here today? No, he doesn't eat. No, he doesn't Oh, I We're, see. He's at a locker. I see. Thank you. Like you Equip from yes. Equality. Hi. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here. Hello, and you are with? Community Care Alliance of Illinois. Community Care Alliance? Of Illinois, yes, sir. Community Care Alliance of Illinois. Yet another group participating. And we have yet another vehicle pulling yet another float. Who is this, Will? And this is the Community Care Alliance. Are you from Community Care Alliance? And indeed they are, supporting disability rights.
and we have several people vocally supporting the ADA, the Americans with Disability Act. It's a clear, sunny, and warm day here on South Dearborn. I'm standing in Dearborn Street itself between Van Buren and Jackson, the historic Monadnock building to my right, the Standard Club to my left, and quite a few marchers and demonstrators in between. And they are from the Bradley Association, yet another group. Who? Oh. Pretoria Deaf Church. Pretoria Deaf Church? And now we have the Pretoria Church. Thank you. Hello. Hello, and you are from? We're from Praetorian Sign Language Church. Praetorian Sign Language Church, where is your church? We're at 32, 2236 South West Douglas. And you are proud to be here today? And I'm proud to be here where I pass is Pastor Carol Clark. Thank you for being here today. Yeah. And coming up next is the Telling Tales Theater. Some of you may have seen performances by Teki Lamneki, who is very active in the Telling Tales Theater. Who's this? Who's this, Will? Hello, and may I ask, what group are you representing today? Roosevelt University. You're representing? Roosevelt University. Roosevelt University here, making their presence known. And you are with? Illinois Single Payer Coalition. Healthcare. The Illinois Cylinder Payer Coalition. Single Payer Coalition. The Single Payer Coalition healthcare. fighting for a single payer for health care. Yes. Okay. Nobody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out is their motto. And we have the Center for Independence. Are you all out for independence today? And they're making their presence felt. And yet another group coming on. T-shirts with black background and multicolored presentations. And you are from? And you are from? Hello. And you are with? El Valor. El Valor. El Valor. El Valor, Hispanic group. And with music streaming forth, we have another large float pulled by a dark red colorful semi-van or semi-truck. And here we have... And yet another float approaching us with a green and white motif. And a large float indeed with some, the Chicago Park District. The Park District is here for disability people. Hello, and you are with? Oh, 
Chicago Public Library is coming. And next we have coming up the Chicago Public Library. Welcome librarians. The Chicago Public Library is here to make its presence felt. Absolutely, they say. And here we have next. You are? A-S-A-N. A-S? A-S-A-N. A-S-A-N. And it's number 45. Hello, and you are with? How's it going, Will? Chicagoland Autism Connection. The Chicagoland Autism Connection here today making their presence felt, and you are a not-for-profit helping to do? We are a autism support group working with families and professionals who work with those families. Both the families who have autistic members and the professionals who help to provide them service? Absolutely. Approximately 90% families and 10% professionals. So this is really oriented towards families with autistic members, and your mission is to help them? Absolutely. We've been doing this since 1997, and we say our mission is to provide awareness, advocacy, information, and support. And you're here today to make your presence known? Absolutely, positively, yes. And you've made that very clear. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Tuesday. Yes, Kimberly. Kimberly. Yeah, I'll this... be seeing you again. Yeah, okay, good well. to see you. Hello. And you are with? It is Sport of Living. It with... is Sport of Living. It is Sport of Living. Chicago? It is in Chicago. For living? Yeah. Okay, and you're about to give me a gift. Yes, you are. So you're here to make your presence felt and yeah. support disability rights? Right. Vote for me. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. How are you today? Eden Support Living. Hello, and you are with? Yet another group making their presence felt. Hello! And we have a marcher carrying batons, twirling them actively. A small group of marchers at the head of a whole cluster of vehicles. And may I ask, you are from what group? Open Doors Organization and Open Taxis, all the accessible taxis, and United Airlines, because diversity flies with them. Okay, I'll get that. Thank you. you got it? I got it Sorry. Now. So you are representing several groups at once? Correct. And what is Open Doorways? Open Doors Organization is the nonprofit for people with disabilities in travel, tourism, and transportation. And we run all the accessible taxis in Chicago. And are you focused on taxis only or other forms of transport also? All kinds of transportation. Trains, planes, automobiles, cruise ships, rental cars, any way you go. So if it moves, you want to make sure the disabled have access? Is that the message? Everywhere, including Uber and Lyft and everyone. You sounds like you have the waterfront covered. All right. Glad to see you here today. Yeah. And your first name is? Eric Lip from Open Doors Organization. Eric from Open Doors. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, you'll have it. And we have a choo-choo train, or a representation of a choo-choo train.
And here we have a very special CTA bus in blue and other assorted colors. The role of the CTA in providing transport for the disabled. Many of you are familiar with the seats that are reserved. And we also see pace on the bus as well. A variety of features that have been were unknown on buses 30 or 40 years ago that are now found there, thanks, at least in part, to advocates for the disabled. Coming behind with lights flashing, two Chicago Police Department vehicles, and that is the tail end of the Chicago Disability Pride Parade for 2016. You saw an enormous variety of marchers from a wide variety of organization, floats of different colors, shapes, and sizes, a whole variety of organizations making their presence felt and definitely speaking out for the disabled. This is Joel Margolis for Adapt of Chicago Productions reporting from the 2016 Chicago Disability Pride Parade.